What is happening, everybody? It is Jew coming to you with another video. This time, not reviewing any books or anything like that. I reacted to a video that's regarding Wakanda Forever, the new film that just dropped as last week. Now, there's a lot of it's. It looks like the reviews are coming in from different people and different people that I've watched, and it's split down the middle. You got those people that say, "Oh my God, it was so empowering. That was the greatest movie." You got some people saying, "Nah, bro." Y'all are doing too much. Y'all are doing too much of extra, and it was a lot. So there's also two sides to this where it's almost like, oh, no, you can't have an opinion. If you're black, if you're black, you're, you're part of the problem. You're not supportive, blah, blah, blah. If you're white, then we know where that goes. So we know how this works. Yeah, uh, okay, because so we saw the same thing with Woman King, right? All right, so there's this lady named, um, I am Courtney Michelle. I think that's that was her name, right? Uh, yes, she has a YouTube channel. She has a TikTok. Her name is I am Courtney Michelle. Now, she got banned on TikTok because of a video. Now, I'm gonna, we're going to react to it. We're going to show the video of her talking about herself getting banned. Then we're going to watch the video of why she was banned. I mean, what video got her banned? Now, let's, let's react. Um... Yesterday, I made a post about Wakanda Forever and how I thought that it perpetuated the idea of the strong, independent Black woman and the feminization and the emasculation of Black men. Posted it on TikTok. And this is what I got. I got a violation. Okay, they removed my video. Now, mind you, it was hitting about almost 100k and then they removed it because of my opinion now, now now let me stop real quick look what it says in the background it says attacks and slurs on the basis then it says tiktok is diverse and inclusive it does not tolerate discrimination now let me let me let her finish and then we're gonna move on to the video that we and we'll discuss if it deserved to get banned I didn't attack anyone. I didn't make any kind of derogatory slurs. But because I gave my opinion on what I think is being propagated through the media time and time again of black people, I got a violation. If they not, if y'all don't see the silencing of people's opinion that's different and that not willing to go with the go along, get along gang, and you know I'm going to obviously appeal, but I was hot. Who am I discriminating against? I'm a black woman. I can talk about black people. I'm hot. I'm no, hot. No, no, the hell you can't. No, no, the hell. No, the hell you can't talk about black people. <laughs> All right, so let's go into the video that that. Now let me correct that. She did not get banned. Her video got removed. So I just left seeing Wakanda forever and I am, I'm pissed. I am pissed because if pushing an agenda was a movie, this would be in the forefront of that. This was Woman King on steroids. If you think that I'm going to believe a hundred pound black woman soaking wet is just an almighty warrior and can just body dudes like it's no tomorrow, come on. Like, instead of Wakanda, it should have been called well, all the men. Because they was not there, they were not present, and the ones that was there was weak. But all the women that was in the movie was just brawling, built, strong Hercules. What is this saying to us? Perpetuating the idea of the strong black woman and a subservient black effeminate man. I just think it's disgusting. I'm completely upset by the movie. And, um, man, if this Kyrie Irving didn't teach me anything, it's when you put your life career in the hands of other people that don't look like you, then they can make you do whatever they want you to do. And this movie does not represent what African culture is. It doesn't represent what our culture needs to be. So, now nah, I'm good on Wakanda. We're all dumb in. All right. Pushing an agenda was a movie. All right. Um, 
So after seeing that, Okay, so after seeing that, I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything that was worth getting banned for. I heard someone state an opinion about a movie. First of all, a movie, a movie, right? It wasn't even race related. It was just about emasculating men, and you're making the film about strong, strong women, but you have just eliminated the men. And they, they said she got banned for inclusiveness, right? Uh, we 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 agree with discrimination. We want diverse and inclusiveness. She's basically saying they took away the inclusiveness of the males, and she gets banned from TikTok. So that is very confusion. There's some confusion here. Now there's people coming to her, coming to her. They're under attack. She's under attack right now by the mob of these overly uh, aggressive, super super power to the to our nation. You know, like these people cannot accept that you're not accepting some. It's okay, man. It's okay. This we got to keep the same energy, regardless of race, background, gender. If you have an opinion and you believe in it and you disagree and you don't like something, you're allowed to say it. But then you got these idiots that come to you. So she posted one more video that we can look at. We live in such a groupthink, hive mentality society that someone will make a comment and everyone will keep repeating it as if it's gospel without even thinking for themselves. So I'm going to debunk one of the comments that I've been getting about my video of Wakanda Forever. So it's read a Black Panther comic book and try again or the infamous. Tell me you've never read the comic book without even telling me. <laughs> okay, look at all look at all these people. Look, look, just look at the comment section. Loud and wrong. This is what happens when you go and see a Marvel movie. Something, something. Tell me you've never read a comic. Tell me this person says read a Black Panther comic book and try again. First of all, I can I can challenge. I can challenge. Okay, let me let, let's finish the video and I'll, I'll, I'll get it there. So in the comic book, Black Panther was married to Storm and they had a child. However, this wasn't in the movie. Hmm. And it was T'Challa that fought Namor, not Siri. Mm. Hmm. So you mean to tell me that the movie actually did not follow the comic book and it deviated? <gasps> no. So tell me you didn't read the comic book without telling me you didn't read the comic book. All right. So she made some valid points there, but there's also there's also I could I could counter some of her points as well. Not not far as like me knowing and having the knowledge of what comic books had what in it, but there is different versions or different series of Black Panther comics, but she is absolutely right at the same time that T'Challa has a kid with Storm, got married to Storm. None of that was in the film. None of it well, was only been one film, one standalone. This is the second one. You don't recast the guy. And none of that's in there, right? So she also pointed out that T'Challa fought Neymar. Okay. There okay, so with that being said, Shuri or anybody else where they fight Neymar in the comics, maybe the new ones, because they're making stuff based off they're trying to hair up a crate feel comic books based off of the movie. And we and, and people even back before, even though after the first Black Panther film. People were asking for the Storm story to intertwine or kind of, you know, work its way in, be implemented into the film at some point. But unfortunately, the passing, then you just don't recast T'Challa. Now, let's get back to this right here. What I was going to say earlier, I can challenge that most of those people in the, com in the comment section 
probably did not read Black Panther comic books. I'm just going to say that. It's just easy to post a comment and try to accuse Thor of not reading the comic book. That stuff was not in the comic books. Even first, the first film. The, the Killmonger story is not in the comic books. Because I'm going to tell you like this. Uh, when, I, when Before I saw the first film, the first Black Panther film, I myself did not read a lot of Black Panther comic books. So I made sure I did my research before the film, way before the film came out. I think it was like after Captain America, after once we realized Black Panther is being brought to the Avengers as kind of a film, I said, I need to do my research because I grew up to, you know, Spider-Man, Captain America, Incredible Hawk. But I was not really brought up into Black Panther. So I said, maybe I should do some research before I get overexcited because people are getting excited because they see representation. That's all they see. That's I need to know more about the representation. I don't need to just see representation. That's not good enough for me. I want to at least better talk about this. So I did some digging into his, his, I did everything. I did a background check. I said, I want to know who his main enemies are. They got that correct. His main enemies was Elise Claw, Killmonger, and uh, Ibaku, which his name was Man Ape. Right? So, unfortunately, I, I was disappointed in the first film because you killed Killmonger and you killed Claw. In the comics, those are his main enemies. They tried to kind of make it like the comics where uh, Claw, the Claw got... Uh, Killmonger's father got exiled from Wakanda for something that some 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 shady business he was doing with Claw. They kind of, but it still it was wrong the way it was found out in America. First of all, uh, Kill, Killmonger was okay. I'm going down a rabbit hole right now. I'm just I started talking about the comic books and what's in the comic books and what I did. I can talk about that a whole other day. Uh, but anyways. I agree with her. I don't see any reason why she should have got banned. I don't see any reason TikTok took her down. The reason they took her down, there was one part where she said Kyrie Irving. Who knows? Also, these clowns in the comic in the comic section, the clowns in the comment section, section probably hit hit the report button. We got to report this as hate. And those probably women if there was dudes hitting that, if there was dudes in the comment, comment section hitting the report button, you got to ask yourself, what does she say about men? She's basically trying to give us like, okay, where are the guys, right? But she gets banned, right? She gets banned. So even for herself and those clowns in the comment section, none of them, even herself, probably none of them read the comic books. I admit to not reading the comic books, but I did deep research before the films came out. You know what I'm saying? So I don't understand what is the problem here. Why can't we be allowed to criticize or disagree with our own people? People did the same thing for Woman King. They got mad and said, you're not supportive to black people with all this other stuff. Y'all so worried about supporting the actors. But when the story doesn't match up, some people don't want to support that crap. You know what I mean? When the story, because you're, because you, because you can go in there all day. I can go in there all day and say, I'm a black dude, but I'm out here doing some crazy shit. Are you supposed to support me? I, I, I so that that's basically what I have to say about this. This is where we're at, and uh, shout out to I have Courtney Michelle for. Not caring and stating her own opinion and what she believes in, even if I disagree with her, I just happen to agree with her today. Even if I disagree with her and it was how she really felt, I have no reason to try to get her banned. You understand what I'm saying? So, tell me what y'all think.